So this is a first look at my previous tool. It's a non-linear editor for Macs. It allows you to jump between cameras and significantly jump between time. You can use it to um, lay out your animations for um, animation work. You can use it as I have been doing for previews for live action shoots. So here we have a character we were working on and he's going to grow wings. Uh, there he is, wakes up, he has wings, spins around and looks in the mirror. We wanted to find uh, the minimum number of camera angles we could use to uh, realize this bit of the story uh, and we wanted to do the visual effects on a budget uh, for our client so uh, we use this to explore how things are going to work and what cameras we need on the day. So let's start editing. Uh, you can launch the tool, there are a number of different ways. Um, I have a, a tabbed browser which I'll be releasing soon. It has a list of all my scripts in it so you just have to um, launch the tool uh, by installing it into the quad menu and find the previous script in the tool and run that. Uh, you can also navigate through the standard Mac style so run script, you can browse to libraries, documents, etc. I can't be bothered. Right, script list of previous run. Um, and so we have four rollouts. We have our playback controls. We have a clip list, which is basically your timeline. So you can add various cameras and have in and out points. Uh, we can collect those um, clip lists together so we can look at um, different edits. Uh, each edit is called a story. And finally, we can uh, render everything out to um, either a preview render, uh, which grabs the viewport, or um, we can assign it to batch render. Uh, so let's start editing. Uh, the workflow for this is you set up multiple camera views. So let's have maybe this one, pick one that one there. So we've got a by the mirror shot, a bed end shot, this low shot here, and a close up shot here. So um, to add a clip, you simply select the viewport with the camera and add the clip. You scrub the timeline to maybe choose an in and out point. So it's going to get out maybe here, frame 22. And we mark it out like that. You can also tweak the timing here by adjusting these spinners. Let's see everything updates. And we can look at the edit points by clicking on these two cells here. Uh, we can also scrub the timeline um, by using this long bar here. So let's maybe have another camera angle and let's have this one. So I'm just like the viewport. I'm going to add a clip and let's find an endpoint maybe over here. Add a clip. Oops. Yeah, let's delete that. I'm going to mark in. There we go. Mark in. Gets up and sits up like that. Mark out there. So you can see already we're going to jump time by five frames here as we go from there to there. And you can see the timeline jumping around as we preview. Just look at that edit. And if I play now, uh, we'll play back in the currently selected viewport. And you can see our character gets up. So let's keep editing. Um, we're going to just jump on to another camera angle maybe this one's camera low angle here so again i select the viewport add the clip and i'm going to choose an endpoint maybe one is just about to sit up so mark that in and try it forward it gets a nice wipe past camera like this and i'm going to mark that out there and then finally we're going to go to this um, mirror shot here so add the clip again by selecting the viewport, add, mark in, and drag it forward to the end of the animation, and mark it out like that. So um, we 
as you can see it's very quick to use um, we're going to maximize the viewpoint like this playback So, if I close this and just look at the top view, all the data for this animation has been stored on this object here. Um, and for those of you not, I mean, uh, there's a custom attribute with all the data which is stored on this modifier. So if you want to um, get rid of it, you can just delete the object, delete the modifier. And it's very easy to maintain. Um, so now we can have another method of launching the script. So we can either do it via my tab browsing tool uh, we can launch it using the standard Max dialog, or we can just click on the object itself and press edit. Uh, and let's say we want to now um, explore a different version of the edit. We can open up a story, and we can copy our last edit here, and um, we could maybe reorder the shots a bit. So I'm just going to drop that around like that, and I was going to go a bit crazy when I. Um, play it. Uh, the important thing to remember is to play it using um, these playback controls and not the max playback controls. If you just use the max playback controls it just carries on and it won't skip um, the cameras. But if you use these playback controls then um, you'll get the camera skipping. So you can see where we reordered the shots now. Um, so actually I think what I might do is I might uh, delete that shot there so I can delete the clip and I'm going to extend the end here by using the spinner to maybe here scrub the time bar to have a look that looks okay so let's have another play There's a high shot, which looks not quite nice. So, um, uh, where is it? Select camera, C to select camera, and we'll have the high shot there. I'll add the clip here, and again, I'll adjust the um, in and out points. I'll do it by the spinner. So, we just want to catch the wings just about to come out, and then um, let's use this. So it's that maybe frame 40, 30, something like that. Mark that out. Let's have another look. So now we have two versions of our story. Uh, they're both stored here. I can um, select two different ones. You can see that as I And there we go, uh, drag that up there. So we got, you can see things. Um, so here we're going for one story. We go close up, high, dead end, and into the mirror, eventually. Stop that. Select this version, we go close up. We've got these two different low shots. So we play, go up. So I hope you can see it's um, very quick to use, it allows you to explore lots of different options. Uh, your animation is still in place, so um, you don't have to squash time around to try and look at different edits and potentially mess up your animation. Uh, you could even have a completely new animation, um, so you could do the same action again, maybe in a slightly different way, and you could cut between that. Um, there are lots of options, it's a very versatile tool. Um, Again, the, the new story is stored here as a separate object, so we've got Filmstrip 1 and Filmstrip 2. Um, and so there you go, I hope you enjoy it. Um, I'm going to very slowly continue to work on it, and uh, I have many scripts which I'm hoping to release over the next few months. Thanks a lot.